Hello everyone, welcome to Stellaris. We are the Pills on Prosperity Sphere, and we are currently assisting our overlord in defeating the machine uprising. We're going on a grand tour with our Colossus, just uh, shielding all of those worlds that have rebelled, thereby defeating the rebels and also denying my overlord those same planets. So it works out pretty, pretty well. Next up on the chopping block is Kandar. And of course, we want to end this war as quickly as possible because, you know, we can't actually fight for independence from our overlord until, uh, until we, until they're at peace. They need to be at peace, otherwise we can't declare war on them. Despite the fact that, as a vassal, it would make the most sense to try and get independence during a war. But it makes sense for game balance re reasons, I suppose. So, Technology researched. yeah, for some reason, my Titan cannot go to this system. It just refuses to go there. Can I initiate a jump? What the heck? Oh, we've completed another habitat. Beautiful. It looks like we're going to be able to jump. Yeah, we just jumped there. So the Titan finally got there. I don't know what the issue was. It's like, it's too massive to fit through the jump point. I mean, that's not a thing, but, you know, not in this game anyway. All right, we'll colonize the habitat. Colonization. That'll be good. Get some more energy, because we are hurting for the energy. So we finished, uh... Mega Engineering, have we? Let's go for Auto Cannon. Or how about the Impulse Thruster? I, I kind of noticed our thrusters were of a low tech previously. So, I mean, we are catching up to our opponents. For example, uh, the Combine of Brutalis. Their fleet power is now superior, so we should hopefully be able to close that gap even further. Like, we can build another star base, make it into an anchorage, and even uh, increase our fleet capacity even more. Which, by the way, we're not even at max fleet capacity yet. And look at that, we can build some more anchorages right there. I mean, there's there's all kinds of things we can do. All kinds of options open to the Empire. We just need the proper leadership to guide us there. Of course, we need to really figure out this energy situation first. Like, uh, we, let's take this Titan. Let's, uh, how about you dock at the station so you're not consuming all those resources? That would help. I'm not sure... Oh, another issue is, uh, our... Well, let's, uh, watch the Colossus do its thing. Another issue is that we don't have the influence to reactivate our capacity overload edict. And so that's, you know, we're so used to just using capacity overload. Yeah, we need a uh, 255 influence, you know, as you can see, we're quite low. Well, this whole, <clears throat> this whole world shielding thing has become quite routine, you know. At first, people were feeling guilty and questioning their, you know, their Pilzon, Pilzonity, I suppose. But now we're just like, yeah, whatever, we'll shield them. We're going to protect them from this bombardment. Like, this brutal bombardment, we're going to protect... We're going to save the people of Kandar from the bombardment. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's always funny. The ground troops leave the planet as soon as uh, it gets shielded, and then they just get wiped out by the parent fleet. That's hilarious. Okay, so we got one more uh, enemy planet to shield, and I think we'll be done, and the war should be over. Yeah, that's it. So it's really a race to see if my Colossus can get there complete. before their ground troops. And I think we're going to get there first. And then I don't know what's going to happen next, because I guess we should, uh, we only have four, five thousand minerals. I, we can't really extend the deal. We don't have the energy for it. So I know we do have one fleet here that we probably should send home. And, well, we'll need to, I guess, jump 
because our path is blocked. The infinity machine. And let's see, they'll fly all the way around and go home. Oh, I don't want you going... Oh, we've completed another habitat. I want you to go... I guess go there. So we have another habitat we can colonize. Where did we build it? There. And of course, we didn't build a... We did not build... A colony ship. So now we need to build it, and it's going to take time. Oh, look at that. We we don't we need to recruit a new governor. Man, I totally did not notice. How about uh you for no, not you. Uh build cost minus 10%. Let's recruit you. And that helped a bit. Uh also, since we are in technically we're in a defensive war, we can actually drain resources from some of our sectors for only 25 influence. We can get uh, 13,000 energy and 4,000 minerals. I'm not sure it's worth it, honestly. Because we can use that influence towards a new edict. Like, if, if this sector was filled with even more minerals, then yeah. It would definitely be worth it, but I'm just not sure that it is. Let's see, we, we can actually upgrade this starport here and uh, make it into a trade facility to help with the energy. The end of the dark compilers. We did that. That was my doing. I did it. All right. Well, I guess I'll send you home as well. We need. We. You need to be in position. Oh, look at that. There's a gateway there that we can use. Damn. So we don't even need to jump. We can just fly straight home. So where are we gonna send the Colossus? Where is the home of the Colossus? I guess it's here in Jormandir. Can I not assign it to the space station as a home? I guess I can't. Look at that. It's the same bug. I can't order the Colossus to move there. That is so obnoxious. Well, it's only going to take a thousand days to get back to the core of my to the core of my empire. That's what I like to see. So let's build some solar processors. And because of our governor, they're going to be 10% cheaper and build 10% more quickly. We need to fill up... We need to fill up everything. Okay, that should be good for now. Fallen outpost, what's happening here? Oh, we can upgrade you, upgrade you. Let's build a generator here. That should help. Let's see, you can do energy. Yeah, again, we don't have the energy to spare for these types. Like, we're in a an energy death spiral right now. War has been declared. Okay, look at that! Uh, we are now at war with the uh, Maynard bot Killstorm again. Which is okay with me. Well, I mean, ah, damn, that means we can't try and fight for our, our independence, because now we're in a war all of a sudden. Again, damn it. But that's okay. Because I think now we can initiate the plan that we previously discussed. Do you remember the plan that we talked about? If you do, that's great. We're going to take these two systems immediately. And it's going to help us. It's going to help our efforts. Because uh, this, this system here has got a habitat and a planet we can take over. And I think... They have 747 garrison strength. How many... What's the strength of our armies? Unfortunately... Oh, we have 805 army strength. So I think we can do it. This is good stuff. And, uh... My Colossus is gonna have to fly by enemy territory. That's not good. Well, let's see. The Colossus will fly through that gateway. Thereby... Avoiding most of the enemy territory. This is... That, that's great. That's great news. Okay. Yeah, I guess... Uh, you know what? Let's send the Colossus. So we can go through... We can actually go right there because we can fly through that gateway. I think that'll Engaging be fine. Hostile station. 
Ground forces into it. Get into the fray. Complete. One more to go. Okay, this is just perfect. So we'll have 255 influence pretty soon. Initiated. Fleet combat. That's a 13.5k station. Wow. But we got 21k. That's a, a pretty tough matchup. Hopefully we can do it, though. Spaceship swarm. That'll be a pretty schmexy station to take control of as well. Can't wait. Cannot wait. Actually, we're over the station limit, even. Because we just took over one. Man, that's taking forever. Come on, guys. See, if we had our battleships here, we could just siege down that station so fast. In the blink of an eye. You would not believe. Okay, so. Now we just need to send in the ground forces. Now, it is kind of... Kind of... It, it will be kind of close, right? I mean, they have... 747 strength, and we just basically have 800. The the habitat has basically no... Has basically no armies on there. So I don't know if we'll, if we'll be able to take this planet. Maybe we need to train some more ground troops, but I don't want to wait to train more ground troops. I, I guess it, it wouldn't hurt to wait 90 days or 180 days to make... Just, you know, two more armies, just to give us that extra oomph that we need. That little extra something else, something something, to uh, get it done. Yeah, see, look, uh, our... Our Pilsons are coming here and filling up the habitat so quickly we don't even have enough time to build the solar arrays. So that's going to cost 255 influence. And since we are in an offensive war, it's going to cost 100 influence if we want to withdraw resources from our sectors. What the hell? They're bringing, they're bringing in their own ground forces? Those bastards. Well, I think uh, while, we're he while we still have a chance, let's take over the habitat. I think uh, technically, well, since we control the starbase here, if the Combine take over... Al Karak, we will gain control of Al Karak. Deploying I think that's how that's going to work. Look at these guys. They are experts in ship to station combat, so they will seize pacified. They will seize the habitat readily. And that's a fact. All right, so we got some more armies we can send in. Just a little extra oomph. I think it'll be worth it. And you know what? Let's uh, actually pay attention to our borders. Like, what's going on here? Uh, we can actually begin our push to the west or the east, I should say. Uh, I mean, the thing is, though, if our fleet... If we move our fleet out, we're going to suffer massive uh, maintenance costs. So we really got to get that capacity overload up and operational before we can get moving. And that's just what we'll do. Is there any other opportunities we have, like on, Sh on Skull Prime? Yeah, see, on Skull Prime, for example, we can uh, build another generator here. And this is an empty square. I'd rather not... And then we'll upgrade the planetary administration. Okay, that's good for now. Governor gained a trait. Environmental engineer. Okay, we're almost at 255. That'll really benefit us. Technology researched. And we are at 255 now. It's very careful that we click the right one. Capacity overload. Bam! <laughs> Minus four energy. Damn it. 
is that our... Oh, another problem is actually that we're over our star base limit, so we can just actually downgrade that one. So now we're up to 26. We still have minus 3 energy. That helped just a little bit. Oh, now we're at plus 84. Okay, maybe it took a little while to actually, like, register. New engineering research. L gates. Let's go for the L gate insight. All right, let's let's get this operation done. Land armies. Deploying pacification troops. Beautiful. I mean, we're gonna have to throw the system into a sector. I think though. The bloodshed. Oh man. Yeah, we got this. Colonized. Ooh, another colonization. Perfecto. Build yourselves a power processor plant. It's what we need. It's what we crave. Gotta have it. How about uh, a paradise dome? Admiral gains a trait. Fleet logician. That is extremely helpful to decrease this these maintenance costs that we are having to deal with. Okay, come on. This is, uh... What are you guys doing? Yeah, you've got to win. You've got to fight harder. Relaying transmission. What would you like? I will... So for a 10-year deal, we give liquids, they give a mineral? I'll accept. This is painfully close. What do they... What are these armies made out of? The general was killed. We need to retreat. The invasion has oh been. my god, that that is just that is just annoying. Like what the what what the hell? What the hell, guys? I I could shield you. We're not going to do that though. We just need to build more armies. What the freaking hell? We'll make some Alpine Assault Armies, how about? We're gonna drop Alpine troops, Desert troops, Robot troops from the local area. And if we still can't take the planet over, we will expand and bring in more troops from even elsewhere in the Empire. All right, so that campaign has stalled. I guess let's uh, deploy the rest of the fleet and see what type of economic burden we're faced with. Let's uh, move out. So our mineral maintenance cost is greater. So we, we, we definitely want to send the Titan out there because it'll help boost our fleet. We'll leave some of the ships at home, how about? Oh, we got some ground troops here. Let's group those up so we have a better idea of what we have. You guys, stay home. You can be a reserve force. Yeah, I mean, we got plenty of fleet capacity, but we just simply do not have the industrial base to maintain that fleet in space. So we took over Tuscany habitat. We can... Oh, some of our people have already moved in here. That's good. So they should start breeding. Garrison strength of 393. Those bastards. I mean, what can you expect? We're peace-loving people. Let's upgrade all of our energy-based structures. That is currently the priority. And 
And I also believe we built, yeah, here at, uh, at Xania, we can turn this into a trading hub. That'd be most helpful. Because, of course, we need, we need to build more mining, mine, mining facilities, which will, of course, consume energy. So then we'll get back into negative energy if we just focus on mineral production. So, you know, we gotta, we gotta fight this battle on all fronts simultaneously. Of course, it would be cheaper just to shield the world, right? So I think we finished recruiting all of our ground troops. Now we gotta move them in. I mean, well, we, I mean, we lost that invasion because our general was an armchair general, don't you know? I rest assured, now that he's dead, all the blame will fall on him. Man, I wish I could claim the Great Wound system so I could get that Dark Matter. But of course, being that we are subjects, Technology we uh, cannot do that. Alright, so what do we have here? We have our two Corvettes, and we have our battleships and Titan in the rear. So let's set let's send in the Corvettes. Let's let them do some some work. Take some of these systems. What did we finish? Naval capacity plus a thirty? I like the sound of that. Starbase capacity. 215 months to get one more Starbase capacity. Let's go for fleet command limit plus one. Or plus ten, I think it was. Uh, let's actually see about recruiting some admirals. Because if we can get more fleet logicians, that would be extremely helpful. Like that guy right there. Let's recruit you. No fleet logicians here, but how about we make you... Let's go to our battleship fleet and recruit this aggressive guy. Oh, this is a lot of fun. And who else can we recruit? Okay. You know, we're going to need good people if we want to win this war. Unemployment. That's what I like to see. Because that means people are moving around and occupying jobs that need to be occupied. Engaging hostile station. Engaging hostile station. Yes. These systems, uh, conveniently Hostile enough. Fleet sighted. Okay, so that could be a problem. A 45k fleet? That's not something we can't handle. We can definitely handle that. And we'll keep on putting on the pressure. Well, unfortunately, that's where today's episode is going to have to end, even though a lot of exciting stuff is happening. Thank you so much for sticking around. Hit that thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments. And I do hope to see you next time where we will correct this embarrassment that we suffered. Have a great day.